time, money, people. We live in a world of numbers. But beyond the basics of arithmetic, what can we do with math? Sarah Plosker, a graduate student in math at the University of Virginia, could tell you a few things. She's doing research in the field of operator algebra. She's basing her research on a new discovery of non-additive channels in quantum information. So uh, that sort of blew everyone's mind, and now people are left scrambling trying to figure out: well, if this conjecture isn't true, what are the implications? Sarah also teaches a calculus class at the university. She describes her project to analyze this new discovery and the reason she received an NSERC CGSN research grant. Based on my research potential in this area, uh, trying to figure out maybe how to classify these um, these channels, these quantum channels that are so the ones that are additive and the ones that aren't, and how we. Um, what are the characteristics? How we can sort of classify them? She says quantum information takes telephone and internet signals a step further. Instead of using just ones and zeros, it uses combinations of both. So there are applications with uh, communication and even uh, teleportation and sort of Star Trek stuff. But I'm more just interested in the math. What I'd like to do is not only understand what's happened, um, what um, people have already discovered, but I want to discover something for myself um, that's original. It continues indefinitely. There's always more that you can learn.